So if you have a relationship that's challenging and you focus there because challenges and pain rivet us to experiences, when we're riveted, then we have a place where we can focus. If we bring the divine to that, now we bust open the illusion. We can focus and fixate on the lies and the lack and all of the things that are limiting to us. Or we can begin to see like right now, there's shifts happening in the world. We've gotten kind of tired of this divisiveness and I think we're just worn out from the divisiveness. I think that it's become really lackluster and, and weary and just kind of feeling stupid. Like we're better than this and we know it. And so what I see happening now is we wore ourselves out in one direction that wasn't really in any way speaking of our true nature and our true selves and our, and our infinite capacity. And now we're ready to make a shift. We're really ready. Sometimes we have to want something in order to really focus there and be committed to that. And, and again, I live in, in a place where I've got MIT right nearby and there are kids in that school that are genius, that are creating the next iteration of all the good things that we need right now. They're in this in school and in the labs creating all the things to, to take plastics out of the ocean and to help the climate and to do all these things that they're ready to step up because to them, that's fun. That's them using their resourcefulness. It's not that we're in this hellish situation that can't be fixed, we are infinitely creative. We're going to be evolving things until the end of time. And the end of time will be when we all have woken up to our divine capacity and we won't need this kind of a, an experience of a, a separate world anymore. But until then, it's going to be around serving as a focus for us to be, keep expanding our divine nature in ways that we are delighted by and are experiencing very tangibly. So... The whole gist of this conversation is that you want to know yourself. You want to feel that there's no detriment to being who you are and that no matter if that's unusual or unbounded or even something that is mind-blowing to other people, we are evolutionarily oriented. And when some one person does it, you know, there are many, many lessons in A Course in Miracles that say, be the light of the world. Today, you are the light of the world. And you know what? I failed when I was doing the lesson so many times that I stayed on that lesson and I stayed on that lesson and I stayed on that lesson until I felt like I lit up the world around me. Somebody smiled. Somebody I did a random act of kindness to and didn't have to have get a ticket when there was a, a quarter in their meter that they didn't have there. I did things that made me feel like I brought the light when I ultimately got the idea of that lesson. Small things not huge things, small things that when I felt like I lit up the day for other people reminded me who I was. And then I walked with a lightness of being and a capacity to see who I truly was until I really saw who I was. In, and, and then from that point on, can't see anything else. So take this home, this one concept home. If you can see yourself as the light of the world and you're really acting in ways that they're not extraordinary, they're ordinary for a miraculous being to feel like if somebody comes and they're on the attack that all of a sudden you see it as a call for love and you're like, hey, buddy, here, you need a drink of water, have a good day or smile. How many times can you walk on the street in a busy city on a hot day People are sweating, people are anxious, people are, you know, rush hour kind of thing. And then smile and people pick up on it like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. And how you can shift something that you don't know. That's the one thing about miracles. You don't know the effect you have because miracles expand. One light lights another and another and another and another and exponentially gets shared in this world. You are lighting the world as you live. When you start doing that, you feel like you have a great future because so what? You show up tomorrow and it was the mundane and then all of a sudden you bring the miracles to bear. 
you feel like the limiting beliefs were only holding you back from in a pseudo identity from being who you really are and experiencing the results of that as what you give, you get more of. And then your life becomes this miraculously oriented, beautiful experience that even when big formidable obstacles appear, and look at, I've been living this for 26 years. I have had parents die. I've had all kinds of things go on in my life that people on a daily basis face. And I have faced obstacles that when you walk through them, just like I said, the only reason I can say that about walking through with your eyes open and your heart open, when you walk through them saying, how is this for me? A limiting belief is how is this against me? When you say, how is this for me? Then you start to experience more. Look, when my parents passed away, I remember being a little kid, the same little kid that was in the swim team and having them be my coaches and things. And I thought the most devastating thing that could ever happen to any human being is to have a parent's parent die. So that was an obsession of mine. I was a little kid who obsessed about things like limiting beliefs. I was a scared kid. Primarily fear ran my life. And I realized from this miraculous perspective, fortunately for me, my parents did not pass until I was an adult. But when they did, I said, what is for me here? What's for me? And I realized, you know, I've had experiences of connection with divine beings, major divine beings, and experiences when I'm in counseling where I can hear beloved departed beings and things. But I didn't know I could connect with my dad until he was out of his body and even have him come back physically. You know, I didn't know that, but I knew it was for me. And I knew that anytime we have something to focus on deliberately, and most often it's in relationship, relationship focuses on things that we will really benefit this specific experience of a lifetime from learning. So that could be really, really, really challenging relationships. A Course in Miracles says those are the holiest relationships, a place on earth where an ancient hatred has become a present love, are the holiest places on earth. So if you have a relationship that's challenging and you focus there because challenges and pain rivet us to experiences. When we're riveted, then we have a place where we can focus. If we bring the divine to that, now we bust open the illusion. We bust open the limiting beliefs and we bust open all the things that we're most afraid of. So I will tell you again from firsthand experience, I now default to a place where I expect I expect miracles. That's for sure. I just, I always expect them because that's the world I believe in most. And that's the world that's been evidenced to me throughout these last 25 plus years through other people's lives too. It's not that I'm exceptional. It's that this experience of focusing on miraculous things begets more miraculous things. So while you're in this place and while we're talking about these kinds of things, just let this sink in because this is for you now or you wouldn't be here listening to me. Maybe tomorrow you'll find yourself feeling, I really could use a miracle here. And then noticing, do you have right on the heels of that an insidious little belief that's limited that, yeah, but not for me, or yeah, no, but that's for special people, or yeah, but no, this is too formidable. And know that miracles transcend all of the illusions, all of what could appear to be formidable. And as you focus on whenever that challenge is, that's kind of like a laser instead of a fragmented light, you're focusing on that challenging situation or experience that feels limited or lacking. Now you get a chance to bring your true self to it. And what does it look like? Now I'm getting to the juicy stuff. It looks like relaxing. It looks like you go inward and you find it. So 